once somebody is on Medicaid, they don't get to keep any money. They get to keep $100. That's it. That's an increase from uh, a month ago, but they get to keep $100 and then they always must have under $2,000 in countable resources. If it's a couple, the community spouse will transfer all assets over to them. We do that via separate property agreement and a quick clean deed on the house. The house goes in their name, all bank accounts, everything goes into their name. Why? Because if we do that, then the state gets zero when the Medicaid spouse dies. There is no state recovery. So it's really important that all assets of the couple be put into the well spouses, the community spouse's name. And we like to do it right away. We don't want to wait. On the death of the Medicaid recipient, the state of Washington will have a lien on whatever is left in their name. And if we did it correctly, if it's a couple, nothing is left in their name. If it is a single person, well, what is usually left in their name? Probably their house.